action. Take one. Location Bethlehem. Topic arrays. Arrays are very uh, advanced. We will have a lot of complex. If you can't get it the first time, we will have many more ideas. Equal groups, rows, and columns. There are different ways of arrays, and each you can use. There are different ways of what? showing. Showing math and each you can use arrays D for example division multiplication addition subtraction the class the, the class, class ordered three pizzas pizzas there are four slices in each pizza how many pizzas are there in, in total well we have some pizza slices and so we can count. Let's start by doing one pizza, each pizza slice is four. So, so three pizzas, each, each pizza has four slices. One pizza, two pizza, three pizza, four pizza, then we make one more out of the remaining out of the remaining slices. Now, see how these are all grouped like this? We are gonna put smudge them together, sort of, to make an orderly fashion like this. That is called an array. The, there are other ways of showing arrays too. It's not just rows or col. It's not just rows. There's also columns like this. Oh, the class ordered two pizzas. There are six slices in each pizza. Okay. Are, <laughs> are then the class ordered two pizzas. There are six slices in each pizza are are then in total oh. if, and if I have two pizzas times six it equals twelve okay so Oliver said that there are two pizzas, but each pizza, instead of having four slices like this last problem, now has six. One pizza. And if there are 12 slices, because of our last problem showed, we can now put another six. Then we smudge them together again. By the way, when you're trying, when you're smudging them, don't mix them up completely. Now there's another array. Good stuff. <laughs> Thank you.